I don't think this tutorial needs much of an introduction. HTML is of course the language used on the internet, mainly for the structure and content of websites but used in nearly every website nonetheless. I'm going to be using Notepad in Windows for this tutorial just to demonstrate how easily you can create an HTML document. Um, hopefully by the end of this tutorial you'll have a good understanding of the structure of HTML. You'll not be an expert but you should have um, good knowledge of essentially how HTML works um, which you can then build on and progress from there. So we've got a blank document here in Notepad. HTML is made up of tags. Now a tag is how HTML defines different areas and sections of the document and it's how a web browser would read and interpret the the code essentially. So the first tag you need in HTML is simply the HTML tag. Now most tags in HTML need opening and closing. So you see up here we've got the opening HTML tag, simply the word HTML in between these symbols and then down here we've got the closing HTML tag which is nearly the same of course as with a forward slash put in there and that defines a closing tag so everything in this particular HTML file will now go in between these tags so I'm gonna use tab to indent th the tags within it and um, it's good practice and makes HTML much easier to read so within the HTML tags we have two sections we have the head section so we have an opening and closing head tag and then the body which sorry needs an opening and closing body tag so this is simply the the basis and the basic structure of an HTML file so I'm just going to go through some vital tags and some really basic ones that you need to know to start building websites in HTML. So, in the head section, this is where st like information about the page would go. In the body section, this is where the actual content which is displayed to the user would go. So, we'll start in the head section. All we really need up here for now is the title tag. Now, this is the text displayed in a web browser's title bar. I'm um, so we'll just stick in there. Hello world, for example. So, if we were to save this now, must remember to save it as an HTML file. You can just change in Notepad the save as type to all files and then type .html simply as the, the file extension. So, if we were to save that, and then open it in a web browser we would get a blank page but it would it should say hello world in the title bar okay so we've got a blank page but it says hello world up here in the title bar so now we want to add some content to the page so usually the first thing you would want is a title HTML has some handy heading tags. We've got H1, which would create the biggest heading. A heading, in terms of style, simply increases the font size and makes it bold. So that would be opened and closed, just the same as the other tags we've used so far. Um, then after H1, you have H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6, um, which get smaller each time. So H6 would be the smallest heading you could have. So H1 would be the main heading, then you'd use H2 as a subheading, for example. So we're just we're just going to use one for now. And stick hello world in there. And I'll, I'll keep switching to Internet Explorer so you can see the progress we're making. So now we have a heading, hello world. Obvious, we, we, that's what we've just created there. So after the heading you'd want some text potentially and maybe a paragraph of text so we'd use the P tag P of course for paragraph this is also opened and then closed with the text inside 
so we could do that and if we save it refresh the page we get a paragraph of text underneath and because we're using the correct tags the heading tag and the paragraph tag and the h1 and the p the web browser and html automatically sets the line spacing the indents everything as w we would expect to see it if you wanted another paragraph it would be a simple case of adding more p tags and then if I just do that you'll see there's another paragraph there again with with the line spacing automatically added for us so you're building an HTML web based website you may want an image um, so we're going to create an image again I I'm doing all of this from scratch just so you can to hopefully help you understand exactly how it works. So if I just create a new image, let's call it image.bmp. Of course it's just an empty file at the moment. So we can just create an image. It, it, of course it doesn't really matter what's in it because it's the HTML we're working with here. So we've got an image, we're now going to look at the tag we need to put the image into the web page. So this uses the IMG tag. But of course an IMG tag alone wouldn't get us much of an image. The way this one works is we set properties within the tag itself. So we set the, the path to the, the image file. And we use SRC for this and then it's equals and open and close quotes. And within the quotes we put the path. So I can just use a relative path. I'm not going to go too much into how relative and absolute paths work. But essentially relative path I can simply type image.bmp. And since it's in the same folder as this HTML file, it will work. I could of course go through the full thing by typing like c colon backslash documents or whatever it is in your version of Windows etc. But there's no need since they're in the same folder. If it was in kind of an image folder it would be images slash images dot bmp. If it was in a folder one level up you use dot dot slash to go up a level. This is when using relative file paths which is usually much easier. So, also in the image tag, you can set things like width. You would do it in the same way. You could do it in pixels. Um, you can do it in percent. If you don't put those properties in, then it it just displays the the original size of the image. So the image tag doesn't actually have a closing tag because if you think about it, we we define everything about the image within the tag itself. So there's, if we opened and closed the tag, there, there's nothing to go inside. So what we do, we can't just leave it like that. So we, it's a self-closing tag. We just put a forward slash at the end of the tag before, like, essentially closing the opening tag. And that makes it open and close all at once. So if we save that, and go back to our web page, we can see that lovely image I just created in paint. So it's as simple as that to add an image to a web page using the IMG tag. So I'm going to quickly go over a couple more tags that you would use on a regular basis. If for example we had another sentence in this paragraph. This is my first web page. I hope you like it. Just so you can see what that looks like as you'd expect. This is my first web page, I hope you like it. But what if we wanted that second sentence on the next line? Yes, we could use another paragraph tag and put it in a new paragraph, but that's not just the next line, that's a couple of lines down. If we want to do that, we use the break tag for just a line break, and that's simply BR. Now again, there's nothing that could go inside of a break. So this is another self-closing tag. Now you could just do it like that. That would work in HTML. 
but that's probably a better way to do it. So if we save that and have a look at the results, you can see it just goes on to the next line without leaving any spaces. So the final tag I'm going to show you in this tutorial, probably not one you'd use loads, um, the HR tag. Now this creates a horizontal line across the page. So again, there's nothing that could go inside a horizontal line, so it self-closes. Um, it's as simple as that. It'll sort out the spacing for us, hopefully. And we see we get a grey line across. So you could use that to separate different sections of a web page. So we've created a basic HTML page. Just to recap, we've got the HTML tags, which everything else goes in. And then inside the HTML tag, we've got the head and the body tags. Inside the head tag, we put the title tag, um, which is what displays in the title bar of a web browser. And inside the body tag, we have the heading, the paragraph, the horizontal line in this case, another paragraph, and an image. Not a fantastic web page, but that is the basic st structure of HTML. This is the kind of thing you need to know to start building advanced websites. So hopefully you now understand how tags work. You open them and close them. Um, various tags self-close or don't need to be closed because they have no end tag. Of course, this web page is not on the internet. It's just on my hard drive or in your case on your hard drive. No one else will be able to see it. To get it online, you'd have to find a web host and upload it. There are free ones out there, but again, I'm not going to cover any more than basic HTML in this tutorial. So good luck in creating your first web page, and I hope you can then progress to build a full website. Thanks for watching.